Version 1.4 introduces the ability to influence the order in which overlapping knitting ranges are stacked. Their stack order is visualized on the left as if you would look at the shape from the side. To change the stack order, select the knitting range and use one of the object arrangement tools from the toolbar. The arrangement tools are also available from the Knitting Ranges context menu. Version 1.4 also introduces the ability to align points horizontally or vertically. This supersedes the need for extra measurements in many cases. Let's assume you have five marking points which should all be in the same vertical position. Before, you would have had to assign the same horizontal measurement to each of them. Now you can declare them vertically aligned by adding them to the alignment group using the new alignment tool. As a result, if you move one of the points in the alignment group horizontally, the others follow to comply the vertical alignment. The same applies for horizontal alignment as shown in this example with two shape points. You can remove points from their alignment group by clicking them with the Alignment Removal tool. A killer feature in version 1.4 is the ability to rotate a shape in an arbitrary angle. The cool thing is that the measurements and all drawing tools follow the rotation. However, the rasterization of the shape is aware of the rotation and all form processing is adopted to the new angle of the shape lines. Thus, knitting a gradable shape and another angle is literally a matter of seconds. Another new feature of version 1.4 is the ability to load background images. This is mainly helpful for copying existing shapes from scanned printouts. The image can be rotated by arbitrary angles. The surrounding box of the image is scalable while the image always fits to the surrounding box while keeping its aspect ratio. This example shows how to create a gradable shape from a background image. Place a new custom shape over the image and move the shape points to approximate the image outline. Add new shape points where necessary and take advantage of the new tools for horizontal and vertical alignment. Then adjust the line steppings to approximate the outline as close as possible. You are now ready to add your measurements to the shape points and perform grading.